Well, howdy doody there, nerds. We're here to talk about two things. One, we're going to take a look at the, uh, well, <laughs> the voting gauntlet real quick and take a look at how how well those results went and how the final round is going. So, wow. Zelgi has put up one hell of a fight, I will say. You guys, God, that is ridiculously close. <laughs> ridiculously close. Talking is very hard for me right now. But uh, as you can see, that... That's really close. I mean, good lord. Okay, so, a lot of you were like, go Celica stages, and then all of the other ones were like, go Robin. So, you know what we're gonna do? We are going to flip a coin. Heads will be Celica, tails will be Robin, and we'll see which team I actually end up on, shall we? All right, up, up. And it's tails, so I guess I'm going Robin. Yeah, yeah, you are, bud. I know. I know all too well. Well, there we go. That's that battle, and I can't wait to see what happens. Let's just see what kind of cr what kind of groups I get dealt with. Let me guess. All reds. I hate my life. Go away. <laughs> Good God, everything is wrong. Anyways, let's just. God damn it. Well, at least I could kill Chrome pretty well. All right. Well. Now we just kind of wait for Luke to make his move and probably kill him with Alincia. So that's that's the end of that one. All right. Well, hey nerds, I apologize for the sudden cut. I actually had to go and dig up Leo for this one, and I just decided to put him on the party and just put him right here. Um, <laughs> as you can kind of tell, I have not used this Leo in a while. That's mostly because, well, he he quickly got replaced. Well, I wouldn't say quickly. He lasted a good few months. Uh, there was. You know, not exactly some of the most amazing units, but eventually I found out melee sword units were really, really great on Cavaliers, so I eventually replaced him with Elwood, and then eventually even Sigurd, and that's pretty much my, been my go-to when it comes to a Cavalier team, at least for Reds. But you can kind of see I was trying to make him into a Blade Tome unit, and it worked, but, uh... That really just kind of shows the problems that Leo has and continues to have, and hopefully it will, maybe, one day, maybe one day we'll actually see him be a little bit more interesting. <laughs> Simply put, Leo got screwed in a lot of things. I guess it's to match maybe his stats in Fates. Someone told me that uh, the mage stats in Conquest were just not that great, but I don't really recall that. Then again, I didn't really use Leo too much, but... Uh, as you can kind of see, even with life and death, granted life and death too, he'd only hit 27 speed. And this is, of course, a new, at least a neutral speed, uh, Leo. This one is Res Bane Defense Boon, Leo, just so you know. I, I, I made sure to check on that. And this kind of spells out the problem here. <laughs> he just has no real speed, even with uh, life and death. He still only has uh, 47 attack, which is not the greatest. You know, that's obviously a big boost from uh, life and death. But uh, he really just lacks a lot of that power. And as much as I like Brynhildr, which is his weapon and the one that will be upgraded, I'm really debating if this will actually save him from the problems that he has here or the problems that will continue to grow. Um, especially now that we have, you know, Erica, Sacred Memories, Erica, you know, the other tome unit that is actually on a horse that is red. And, you know, I use Erica more than I use Leo now, obviously, <laughs> for certain reasons. Um, just because I find her a lot cuter and also because she's pretty powerful, but I'm really, really hoping that they don't just half-ass this and go like, oh, Brunhilder, well, it, it's basically just gravity, let's just make it so the gravity now, you know, hits two target, you know, hits targets two squares away from the target cast on. Please, dear God, save this poor man. Um, <laughs> I know that this is probably a lot of just nonsensical rambling on my part, but I really like Leo, and I, and I would hope, and I'm hoping, that he will get a really great refinement. Now, just to give you an example, Guys, I mean, a lot of you, a lot of, a lot of you go, well, Divine do so hard, what does it really, what exactly does it really change when it comes to characters? Well, again, you know, we've had Alm. There's Alm. You've seen him before. You know what he's capable of now. He can quad units. He can, he could do catastrophic damage to Noe's, you know, plus 10 Noe's, unrefined, I mean, not unrefined, but, you know, unmerged and things like that. 
his refinement is ridiculous. One of the most ridiculous out there. Um, then we, of course, have characters like Jafar, who, while I, I don't really enjoy Jafar too much, I see his appeal. I mean, the ability to do a lot of damage, have Poison Strike, and then maybe even Savage Blow, it just does ridiculous amounts of damage belting out from him. It's scary in some ways. And even then, other characters, you know, all the Falchion upgrades were pretty, pretty competent. Sheeta has her own thing now where she can destroy armor and cavaliers really reliably. Not only that, but since she has Flashing Blade on her weapon, if you do refine it, it's crazy. And then Raven, Raven just becomes paper, but it's very sharp paper and he can cut you really, really hard if you do let him. So that just gives you an example of things that will change. And I'm really, I, I kind of want an excuse to just bust Leo out again. I'm hoping it's a really great Divine Do weapon. And maybe, just maybe, we'll start to see the appeal of having him again. I don't know how you guys feel about that, but I don't know if it's actually going to save him. Uh, just because, unfortunately for Leo, he kind of has that weird stat spread that I'm not entirely sure is... He, he can actually... He's probably one of the only units I can think of who could actually run, um, <laughs> at least for a horse mage like this, who can actually run close counter if, if you do build him up in such a way. He could probably do that fairly well. Do I think that's going to happen? Probably not. <laughs> but, uh, goodness gracious. And then, of course, we have Erica, who's also getting it. Soren's getting his own weapon. There's just so much to consider, but I'm really, really hoping there's some love for our little tomato prince here. Do you guys... I, I know a lot of you guys are <laughs> probably already posting in the comments, what about Roy? What about, you know, Binding Blade and all these other characters that have been skipped over? I'm sure that Binding Blade is coming. That is, that is such a key weapon in the series, especially for Roy. I really doubt that they'll skip that out. <laughs> especially since, you know, Roy's our boy and everyone enjoys him. I wonder if they can actually make him into something crazy, but uh, right now, unfortunately, we're, we're using this on the Tomato Prince. We're talking about the aspects that come with that. I don't know how you feel about it or what you think, but uh, I've been staring at him just trying to figure out if there's really any reason to use him right now. Outside of, you know, not having the ability to use another version of a character or things like that, or duplicates, um, when it comes to building another horse team. I guess it's just, he's useful when he needs to be, but he's not my first go-to, and he's not my second go-to, and he's even not my third go-to when it comes to Cavaliers anymore. Gotta remember the days where you were all powerful, Leo. Well, kind of all powerful, in that the sense that you were only really one red tome unit on a horse, and that was pretty much your defining qualities. Oh, and quick repost too, I guess. Quick repost. Whatever you prefer to call it. I'm 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 just losing my mind. I'm thinking about things. It's probably not the best. But uh you know what? Let's have some brainstorming sessions. Guys, what do you think some of those weapon effects are gonna be with the new update? Can can it really save our good friend Leo over there? Was there anything in Fates that could actually be a defining quality from his weapon? That could be applied to, you know, the refinement. I'm honestly not too sure. Um, so I've just I'm stumped. <laughs> Sorry for all the rambling, but I just wanted to talk to you guys about this. And since there isn't any news, eh, it's fun to just speculate. Alrighty, I'll catch you nerds later. Do tell me what you think. What do you think Leo is going to get in the future? And also, I love you. Alright, catch you nerds later.